वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिकल बैटरी इंजीनियरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी माई सेल्फ मिस्टर यूआन शो ओके टूडे वी गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द लिथियम आई ऑन बैटरी ओके एज वी नो दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर लिथियम आई ऑन बैटरी द फर्स्ट प्रोटोटाइप Uh, was developed by Akira Yoshino in 1985. Okay, then uh, based on the uh, their research uh, by John uh, during the year 1970s and 80s. Okay, and then a commercial lithium-ion battery was developed by Sony and Asahi Kashiyoshi. and uh, by yoshio nishi in 1991 okay so first one uh, the prototype was developed in 1985 and then uh, it is again by using some resources in between 1970s and 80s some resources have been undergone and after that uh, it has been commercialized okay in 1991 <coughs> then nominal cells are available for this lithium ion is 3.6 3.7 3.8 3.85 volts and uh, the energy density will be it is ranging from 250 to 690 watt hour per liter but now you can see even more than this uh, will be available again by doing uh, the researchers okay <coughs> then we will try to understand the concept uh, and the basics of uh, the uh, lithium ion battery and uh, after that we will try to understand uh, what is the concept during charging and what is the concept during discharging process we will try to understand these three concepts today let's see the lithium ion battery it has a highest electrochemical proper uh, potential uh, property hence it is most uh, having the reactive metal lithium ion is a most reactive metal so therefore lithium is used to achieve high energy and then the power density in battery applications okay <coughs> it is a secondary which is a rechargeable battery uh, lithium ion is a secondary battery and which is a rechargeable battery which can be rechargeable okay <coughs> and it have a dominated the modern portable electronic industries as it is used in the various modern electronic equipments as we know that such that uh, in the daily lives we use the uh, various modern equipments like laptop mobile desktop uh, radios electric vehicles and so many different uh, equipments okay then this particular lithium ion battery was actually um, uh, developed and which works on the principle of movement of lithium ions from the electrons okay <coughs> then after this we will try to understand this uh, with the help of this particular diagram in the diagram you can observe the two diagrams have been mentioned so this is during charging and this is during discharging you can see here uh, during charging of uh, external source is connected and this is the anode terminal this is the cathode terminal in between this the separator has uh, the arrangement and uh, so 
within this the electrolyte uh, solution will be used okay <coughs> and the same thing you can see here so during charging the battery source or external source is used and during discharging the external load is used that is resistance load is used okay and then this is the anode and this is the cathode and the same thing the separator is used and uh, so based on the reactions the charging and discharging process will be taking place let us try to understand the charging so as we know that this is the anode and this is the cathode okay and this is the external source which is connected when we want to charge this particular battery we need to connect the external source that we have connected here the battery is connected externally for power supply due to this external power supply the oxidation reaction will be takes place in this battery oxidation a reaction will takes place in this particular battery okay <clears throat> and that too particularly in the this particular cathode okay oxidation reaction will takes place on this cathode of the battery and it actually once the oxidation a uh, reaction will takes place when it will takes place when the external source is provided to the battery with respect to anode and cathode the ox due to the oxidation reaction the electrons will be released okay the electrons will be released or electrons loses from this cathode and those electrons will move through this external uh, path through this uh, source and then it comes to the hand that means the electrons will move like this or it will flow like this okay and the path of the current will be opposite to the electrons the path of the current will be opposite to the electrons and then here we will have a lithium ion as well okay there are two components one is lithium ion and the electrons will there okay so those free electrons will move from this external source to towards the anode and it will be uh, deposited here and then those electrons will not be allowed through this particular electrolyte towards the anode because here this is the separator so the separator will not allow the electrons move from this anode to cathode through an electrolyte so therefore the electrons which are uh, released so due to the reaction oxidation reaction so those will be flows or moved or transferred from this particular path and then here the lithium ion will move through the electrolyte and which will shift which will move towards this anode in this way through the electrolyte okay then <clears throat> the positively charged lithium ion balances the number of negatively charged electrons okay so here in this uh, when the charging process is happening then just see here the lithium ions will be there and thereby this uh, this lithium ion will move toward this and the electron which is 
came from like this and it is actually uh, these two uh, will uh, have that is the lithium and the electron both uh, will have uh, the uh, what uh, the reaction will happen that is or the collision uh, that is the com uh, in both will get bind and that will be deposited on the and that we will call it the process we will call it as the intercalation the both that is the electron which is uh, coming from this okay and the ions which came at this so these two will uh, intercalate or absorb okay both these will absorb the lithium ions when the charged ions of an electrons can be absorbed and held inside the structure of the host material without disturbing it then it is called as a intercalation that means so these electron ion uh, ion will uh, absorb or intercalate and which will place in this particular and so we call it as a intercalation the lithium ion are tied to an electron within the structure of anode okay so this is the process will takes place uh, during the charge okay and then when this particular battery is fully charged okay then it has to when if you want to discharge it so this is the diagram you can see uh, for the discharging process so during discharging process the everything is uh, same here uh, the construction there is no change and so this particular external source is replaced with the load resistance and thereby you can observe the current direction will be opposite as in the charging stage and the electrons moves from anode to the cathode the same reaction will takes place at anode during discharge okay so thereby again electrons move from anode to cathode then the uh, lithium ions will move from uh, anode to cathode through electrolyte so again uh, the discharging process will be taking place so this is about the charging and the discharging process of lithium ion battery is concerned thank you very much